Christine Holly here for Hollywood First Look Features. I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard for the premiere of King Arthur. I can't wait to see Charlie Hunnam. So let's not waste any more time and hit this red carpet. Yeah! Tell us about your music. Uh, well, Backstreet's about to go back in the studio and make our 10th album. As well as Ten? I'm 10th album, yes, 24 years together, oh my God. and I'm finally about to drop my debut solo record later this summer. We're shooting a single in two weeks, and uh, it's going to be a video that's going to blow people away. It's going to kind of go way left field. Do you think you have lived a life where you are now a king? A king? I, as you get older, you know, you, you you have a certain aura about you if you survive, you know, and uh, and you get to be. You know, people look to you for guidance and answers and an example. Thank God I cleaned up my act early on and paid some dues, and I feel like I can be a little bit more responsible. So in that sense, in sense of responsibility, I, I feel like that. How did you guys work as a team to collaborate and create King Arthur? Oh. Um, well, we're married. Um, and, you know, when Joe B. first had this idea to do this, he was supposed to be writing something else, and so I said, you absolutely should not make this movie. Um, and yeah, thankfully he didn't listen to me, and he went ahead and, and came up with, it, with an outline for something which was really an exciting new departure for King Arthur. He's really distilling the character and spending time with just King Arthur and not filling it with all the, the characters we've come to expect in a King Arthur story. There's no Lancelot, there's no Guinevere, uh, there's no Merlin, and so he really just focused in on King Arthur, and that's something that we haven't seen before. And also he infused it with big uh, fantasy 300-foot elephants, um, you know, or storming uh, castle in the, in the beginning of the film. And, it, and it's something that, you know, we um, collaborated together in sort of developing that, but we, when we really became a team was when we brought on Akiva Goldsman and Lionel Wigram and Guy Ritchie, of course, and that's when, you know, when the tone was really established um, and when it became, you know, the, the unmissable Guy Ritchie take on this. I'm so proud of your work. Thank you. And what's next right now? July. New album? Yeah. You're, you're lying. No, it's called Heaven Upside Down. What kind of music? Is it going to be like back in the 90s? Or are we... It is the what I liked growing up. Wait for it. It's about to f*** up. How was working with Guy Ritchie in this rendition of King Arthur? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was. Uh, he's. The, I love his worldview. He's a, somebody who's very cultured, and uh, I, I really enjoy working with him. Charlie Hunnam. That's it. He's wonderful. Wonderful. The sounds all of this. How was playing King Arthur? Uh, it was lovely. It was great. It was the it, most fun I've ever had on a movie. And how did you prepare to be this huge King Arthur? Well, you know, I mean, of course there's the physical requirement of a role, which is just sort of boring and exactly what you'd imagine it would be. Just a lot of working out, a lot of sensible diet. But what's, what, what's exciting about this film is that Guy and I got to explore some of, the, some of the themes in our own life and the things that we've been really excited about. Um, I've got to go, but I suppose distilled down to its essence, it's the, it's the conflict between fear and faith. And that's something that gets me very excited. Like, how do we define ourselves in life? And how do you um, transcend to the greatest version of yourself? And what that requires is learning the things that make us scared and the things that we, the ways in which do we negatively define ourselves and overcoming that. Hey guys, so Charlie Hunnam is actually very hot in person and actually a pretty spiritual person. I can't wait to go watch the movie now. These nights are crazy, but looks like they're having a lot of fun. So it's my turn to have fun now. Bye guys. This is Christine Holly for Hollywood First Look Features. The walls are dropped. There are rumors, the legend of the sword of a king other than yourself. Find him. I know your story. What kind of a man would you have become had you inherited your father's kingdom instead of being raised in a brothel? What gave you such drive? You felt it, didn't you? The power. It 
was Vortigan who murdered your father. But what you can account for is what you can do with his sword. We need to be careful. His power is increasing. When people fear you, it is the most intoxicating sensation a man can possess. You're starting to mean something. You're no longer a myth. Doesn't it make the palace burn well?